Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider the fourth property of DTFS, which is nothing but the convolution. So, here uh, first again we will make the statement and then we will consider the proof for the same. So, what must be the statement? So, let me write the statement first. If a discrete time signal x of n, so I would call x of n as the discrete time signal x of n leads to x of k by taking DTFS, discrete time Fourier series. So, wherein x of k are the Fourier coefficients of x of n and I would consider another signal and oh, y of n, I will consider another discrete time signal uh, y of n leads to y of k. So, again by taking the DTFS for the same. So, now then I will get the new signal z of n. I would call this as the z of n. What is this equal to? This is equal to x of n convolved. I would put a circle so that I call it as circular convolution or it is also called as periodic convolution. x of n circularly convolved with y of n leads to what? If I take the DTFS of such a signal leads to what? So, here uh, z of n leads to z of k and x of n circularly convolved with uh, y of n. So, that will be equal to n into I would get x of k multiplied with y of k. So, this is the expression for convolution in a DTFS. I could uh, state another statement here. The convolution in time domain is equal to multiplication in frequency domain. Is that okay? So, sometimes in the exam, the statement could be uh, prove that the, con uh, the convolution in time domain is equal to multiplication in frequency domain. So, here you can check x of k is getting multiplied with y of k. So, this is nothing but the multiplication in frequency domain. As I said, this is the statement. So, now I can consider the proof for the same. So, let me write uh, proof. So, now if I will consider, uh, we know that DTFS x of k is equal to, what is the expression for this? So, this is the standard expression, we know uh, the expression for DTFS, I would write uh, 1 by n summation n over the range capital N. Here we have x of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n. Correct? Similarly, I would write the expression for y of k as well, which is nothing but DTFS of y of n, which is equal to 1 over n summation n. So, this is over the range capital N. Here, I will have y of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n. Correct? Similarly, I could write z of k. So, I would write similarly z of k is equal to 1 over n summation n over the range capital N. So, here it is z of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n. Correct? So, now this would be the expression for z of k. So, what I do now is I will substitute for z of n which is equal to x of n circularly convolved with y of n. Correct? So, now if I would consider uh, 1 over n summation n over the range capital N. In place of z of n I would put x of n convolved with y of n. This gets multiplied with the exponential term which is equal to e to the power minus j k omega naught n. Correct? So, now making use of the definition of the periodic convolution or the circular convolution, I can write the expression. So, now what I do is using 
make, making use of using definition of using the definition of periodic convolution periodic convolution we get so let me write we get so what is the statement of that so i'll substitute over here z of k is equal to i would write uh, 1 over n and summation n so this is over the range capital n and now i will substitute for x of n convolved with y of n which is equal to summation here i would get uh, the new variable small l this is also over the range capital n x of l y of n minus l so this is the definition of the convolution we know this very well this gets multiplied with e to the power minus j k omega naught n so next is i need to simplify this further if i want to simplify this further i need to change the order of summation so let me write changing the order of summation changing so i said uh, changing the order the order of summation changing the order of summation so let me write let me see how do i get that expression again z of k is equal to 1 over n so now if i change the order of summation i would get this summation i would write this uh, summation first that is summation l this is over the range n i have x of l i would keep this first and rest of the terms later then i would write the second summation this is n over the range capital n and now i have y of n minus l this term and later i would consider uh, multiplying the exponential term which is e to the power minus j k omega naught n is that correct so now what could be the next step so you can uh, guess what could be the next step here i have x of l here i have i have y of n minus l i have to make this term also equal to similar to y of n or y of l with one, with only one variable is that okay so now uh, for that what i have to do i have to put uh, n minus l equal to some other uh, variable is that okay so now uh, what i do is put n minus l equal to m only in this things the the first summation i'll just keep it as it is because i already have that in the standard form so here i want only one variable hence i would put n minus l equal to m so let me see what i'm going to get z of k is equal to 1 over n rest of the terms i'll just keep it as it is l this is over the range n i have uh, x of l so i said i'll keep these things uh, as they are so now the second term here n was the variable so now m is the new variable so that becomes m over the range capital n correct now y of n minus l i would get y of m in place of n minus l i have put m hence i would get m now e to the power minus j k omega naught n what must be n n equal to so just take l to rhs i am going to get m plus l is that correct so i would write m plus l so this is what i am going to get so can i simplify this further yes how do i simplify this so check here i have the exponential terms uh, e to the power a plus b split them as e to the power a and e to the power b and write one exponential term with x of l and another exponential term with y of m so that that can uh, gets reduced to the dtfs again
Is that okay? So now I would get a 1 by n and later I have summation L over the range capital N. I have x of L. So can I get one exponential term in terms of L? It, yes, it is available. e to the power minus j k omega naught into L. So it is e to the power minus j k omega naught into L. Correct? So this is what uh, we got now. And next, I would get summation. This is m over the range n. What I have now? I have uh, y of m, another exponential term, which is equal to e to the power minus j k omega naught m, which is readily available. Correct? Yes. What is this actually equal to? So this is equal to capital X of K. This is nothing but the DDFS. Here X of L is the discrete time signal. Y of N is also a discrete time signal. And this expression is nothing but DTFS of that expression. Only capital N is not available. Hence I need to multiply that term. So I would get 1 by N into bracket N into X of K. Correct? X of K is equal to 1 over N summation and these terms. Only this term is, no, is there and uh, n is not there. Hence, I would multiply it over here. Correct? Similarly, what is this equal to? So, that is equal to n into y of k. I am getting this. n into y of k. What is going to happen now? So, now n and n would cancel and I have uh, left with, I am left with now n into x of k y of k. So, is that what we were looking for? Just go up and check. Yes, this is what we were looking for. z of k is equal to n into x of k into y of k. And this is what we got now ultimately. So, towards the end, I would write hence, hence the proof. So, we considered the statement of convolution and uh, we proved that equal to n into x of k into y of k. So, I have explained this uh, property step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos in signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.